The Summary View This gives you an overview of the asymmetries detected during analysis and gives you an indication of the quality of the data analyzed. It tells you the number of strides captured in your recording as well as the stride-to-stride -stride variation. You can see that 31 strides for the forelimbs and 22 strides for the hind limbs have been included in this analysis. Aim to get a minimum of 20 strides for both fore and hind. Due to the camera view of the horse, the app will collect more data from the head. You also get a measure of the stride-to-stride -stride variation. In this case, the variation shows a medium value for both front and hind limbs, which is acceptable. Always strive to get the handler to perform a calm and consistent run with the horse to minimize stride-to-stride -stride variation. The asymmetries detected are visualized by different colors in the horse's legs. The scale of how severe the asymmetry is starts with green and goes to gray, yellow, orange and red. As you can see, the moderate push-off and impact components are colored orange in the front limb. The arrow up shows that the asymmetry has a push-off component. The horse is pushing less upward. The arrow down shows the impact component. The horse does not sink as low and accepts less peak force in this limb, compared to the contralateral limb. In this case, you see a moderate impact and push-off asymmetry originating from the left front as well as a very mild push-off asymmetry from the left hind. The gray-colored left hind limb, combined with the arrow pointing up, indicates a very mild push-off asymmetry. Remember that this summary is a simplified overview. Always look at the detailed analysis and how consistent the asymmetry is. The Individual Strides in the individual strides section, you get an overview of all strides that have been included in your analysis. It illustrates the general tendency but also gives you details on the stride-to-stride -stride variation. The F is the front limbs and the H is the hind limbs. Each line represents an individual stride and shows you the vertical movements of the head and pelvis, starting with landing on the left front limb and pushing off with the left front, landing on the right front and pushing off with the right front. The differences in the maxima and minima in the vertical displacement of the right and left halves of a stride are calculated to quantify the asymmetry. You can see these by clicking on the min, slash max and analysis. In this example, the difference in the push-off for the maxima is quantified to 1.1, and the difference in the minima is quantified to 1.5. These are the relative sizes of the impact versus the push-off components of the asymmetry. The same goes for the hind legs, starting with landing on the left hind, pushing off with the left hind, landing on the right hind and pushing off with the right hind. You see that there is hardly any asymmetry here in the push-off. You see, pointing to the left, an asymmetry component of 0.3, and in the impact phase, we have an asymmetry of 0.1, pointing towards the right hind. The Gait Analysis View The Gait Analysis View gives you an overview of all the data in the front and in the hind limbs, visualized in the clock plots. It's very useful for visualizing the consistency of the asymmetry, which is of clinical importance. Each quadrant shows a different component, indicating the limb and the push-off or impact component. The purple clock plot shows the measurements of the head, where LF means left front and RF means right front. The blue clock plot represents the hind legs. Here is the push-off component. Here is the impact component. Each stride is represented as a line. The length of the line indicates the severity of the asymmetry. The colored line gives you the mean value of all strides that are included in your analysis. In this case, you see that most strides are pointing towards left front impact and a few are pointing towards the left front push off. The mean value is within the impact quadrant, which means a moderate asymmetry. The same is true for the hind. For this horse, most strides are pointing towards the left hind push off. The mean is gray, which means that it is a very mild asymmetry. Here, you also see an outlier pointing towards the right hind push off.
The Analysis Video View The analysis video synchronizes the recording of the horse with the biomechanical tracking as the horse is trotting towards and away from you. This is the tracking video of the horse's motion on which the analysis is based. It gives you a zoomed-in, slow-motion version of the original video, complete with asymmetry data. It is useful both for documentation and as support to the visual assessment. The lines presented show the vertical displacement of the head and pelvis stride to stride. If you want to see the exact stride to stride information, swipe in the clock plots. These are also synchronized with the horse's movements. The synchronized clock plot makes it easy to identify outliers and if they are relevant. The original video view. Under this tab, you will find the original recording on which the analysis is based. There is also a section to add notes and a drop-down menu to document diagnostic analgesia.